In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Today, our Lord Jesus Christ asked the paralyzed man a very important question. We need to focus on this question and understand what is behind it. And even we need to feel that this question is directed to us, not to the paralyzed man only. He asked him and said, do you want to be made well? So now our Lord Jesus Christ is asking all of us, do you want to be made well? In fact, it is very important, very essential for all of us to feel every day of our life that we want to be made well. Because the whole point of our life here on earth, the whole point of why God is allowing us to stay here, to have time here, is because he is hoping us to grow, to improve, to be glorified, to repent, to be sanctified, to be made well. But the problem is, when our Lord Jesus Christ came to the paralyzed man and asked him, do you want to be made well? If I do not feel that I want and I need to be made well, even my Lord Jesus Christ himself wouldn't be able to help me. That's why he asked the man. Because our Lord will never impose on us will never work in our life against our will, against our free will. Because of that, if you would like to benefit from him, we need to feel not only that we want to be well, but we are in need to be made well. If we wouldn't feel that we need and we want to be made well, we will never grow, we will never improve in our life. We will never be purified or sanctified. He cannot add his grace and his heavenly gift to us, except if he will open our hearts and our inner being to him and say, our Lord, I feel that I need and I want to be made well. I really feel sorry when I see somebody is aging. I keep repeating this statement, but I would like to repeat it again and again. I feel really sorry when I see any of us is aging and getting old, aging but not growing, aging but not improving, aging but not repenting, aging but not filled with the grace of God. You might see somebody in his 60s or in his 70s or maybe older, yet he is not mature. Yet he didn't grow enough. Yet he was not sanctified enough. The reason is because he felt many years of his life, or maybe the entire of his life, that he is not in need. Or he does not want to be made well for God to improve him and to give him the spiritual gift to mature and to be sanctified. Last week, a young girl came to me here in this room after the liturgy and she asked me, I want to confess. And I sat with the girl and she was in tears. She was crying, she was in tears because of a very simple mistake. I was touched and I had a lesson for myself that this young girl maybe is more wise than many of us. We aged and we became old and we are not seeking to improve ourselves, to repent, to renew our life, to change, to gain forgiveness, to repent. 
I was touched by the girl and I told her, you know, that good number of us as adult people, we do maybe mistakes greater than your mistake. And we do not realize that we are mistaken even. We don't think and we don't ask and feel and want and need to be made well. How are we going to change and improve and grow and mature and be purified and sanctified? This question asked today by our Lord Jesus Christ to the paralyzed man is a question for all of us. We need to ask ourselves this question or to, to, to express to our Lord every day of our life that God, my Lord, I need and I want to be made well. He will enter our life and will help, help us to improve and to grow and to be better people. It's a very dangerous. I am telling you the truth. It's not luxury, it's very dangerous for me if I felt at any moment or any day of our life that I am complete and I am perfect and I am not in need to be made well anymore, I'm okay. This is very dangerous. You know why it's dangerous? As I mentioned, first of all, because if I didn't feel that I need and I want to be made well, I will never improve or grow. And point number two is because if I felt that I do not have a need or a want to be made well, and I am perfect, and I do not need any change or any improvement in my life, this is the first step to pride. And the pride, my brothers and sisters, is very dangerous because it is the first step to falling. According to the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 18, Solomon the prophet is saying, pride goes before destruction. And the Ahuti spirit before a fall. قبل الكسر الكبرياء وقبل السكوت تشامخ الروح. If I felt that I am perfect and I am not in need to be made well, this is the first step. I am opening the gate of pride. And in this way, I am falling. So at the moment, at the moment, I feel that I am perfect and I don't need to repent or to change or to improve or to be made well. At this very moment, I will start to fall. I am destroying myself. Bright goes before destruction and the Ahuti spirit before a fall. Also Solomon the prophet in the book of Proverbs chapter 29, verse 23, he said, Bright brings the person law. The more I feel that I am perfect before the Lord and I'm ha I, I do not have a need to a change or to improvement, now I am bringing myself low and down. So I need, I need to feel every day of my life that I want and I need to be made well. I am repeating the question of today was asked by our Lord Jesus Christ to paralyze the man is a question for all of us. It's like a question for life. It's a question for everyday life. I have and I need to feel that I want to be made well. But now I would like to ask to, to answer a question for all with all of you. What may make us don't feel that we need or we want to be made well? First of all, if we're going to compare ourselves to the world and to the bad people, because we are surrounded by evil, good number of us might, might claim and say, I am not as bad as the bad people outside. I am just going home, work, home, work, 
and in my 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 off day or the weekend I am at the church and I am praying and I am taking communion, I'm good. Here if I felt that I am good, I will start to fall. So comparing myself to the bad environment or to the evil people is dangerous. I wish we do the opposite. To compare ourselves to the good people. In the meaning of, first of all, we need to measure ourselves in the standards of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because we are not here on the earth to just have earthly life only, we are here because we have a call to inherit his kingdom, to be his children. And we need to look and to search and to understand and to focus on his standards. See what kind of standards our Lord Jesus Christ is asking us to live with. And we need to compare ourselves on his commandments. Not on the level of the evil people outside and say we are okay, we are good. And we are not in need for any improvement. And just we are following our routine. That will never take us, take us to a growth or to improvement, or to purification, or to sanctification, to make us real children of God. So what might make us feel that we are not in need to improve, if we're going to compare ourselves to the bad people. Also, we have another point, which is what we call the false righteousness. What is false righteousness? البر الزائف بالعربي البر الزائف معنى ايه? What is false righteousness? Do you remember the Pharisees facing our Lord Jesus Christ? They were thinking about themselves that they are the most righteous people. They can memorize the, 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 the whole Bible. By heart, they know the whole verses of the Bible. And they understand even the interpretation of the Bible. And they have dresses like religious people. And they attend the temple every weekend. And they go to the synagogue every, maybe more than one time a day. They are fasting, they are praying. Yet, our Lord Jesus Christ was not happy with the righteousness. righteousness. You know why? Simply as he explained, their life was same like a trash room, a storage of trash. And they kept painting from outside and decorating from outside and keeping the routine and keeping the habits, regardless to the purity of the heart, regardless to the sanctification of the heart. And because of that, our Lord Jesus Christ criticized the righteousness. And he commanded us, if you will not be more righteous than the Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of God. Are we hearing what our Jesus Christ is telling us? If your righteousness will not be more than the righteousness of the Pharisees, you will not inherit his kingdom. What was the righteousness? They put all effort to fast all fasting, to pray all prayers, to attend the, 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 the temple, to memorize the verse of the Bible, yet the heart was impure. They forgot about that we are in need and want to be made well. We are perfect. We are the ultimate 